right, so today what I wanted to show you was um, I am going to be using a different type of paint source. I'm going to be using um, coffee. So coffee grounds, you can use coffee grounds that are left over, like from a Keurig machine, or I know I just use for me just my instant coffee. So I just poured a little bit of water in a cup, and then I put the, um, the instant coffee in here, and I just made, you know, like a darker, um, as they say, concentrated coffee. And so what I'm going to do first is for me, I just have this craving for a latte, I don't know, or a hot cocoa. Like you can imagine if you've ever seen at, um, and I've got a little source for here for myself, is have you ever seen any of those um, coffee mugs? They have the really cool designs in the froth, which is the milk foam on top. So imagine you could get a hot cocoa or you are now a barista and you are making this amazing coffee for somebody. So the first thing I'm gonna do, and you can draw your own thing, but I am going to start with my mug. The top like is an oval, right? And then I'm just going to make the rest of my kind of coffee cup mug. And then I'm gonna give it a neat little handle. Okay. So you can make it however you want. And now when I look at this, I go, oh, you know, I want my view to be of this top part here. So maybe I'm gonna make my mug even bigger on the top, like this, so I can see inside, right? So I don't really need to erase a lot, and you guys know in my classroom, I always say don't worry about erasing, but we're gonna be playing with our design a lot. So inside my mug, um, I want to come up with something fun. So I think for me, I love those hearts. So I might draw a heart inside of my, you know, hot cocoa coffee. And I'm gonna give it another layer because there's always, you know, a lighter, medium layer and darker. And then I'm gonna make this really neat kind of swirl because it's that awesome foam. And then I'm gonna make it smoother looking like it's almost like another heart. And I'm gonna do these little loops or waves of stuff coming off of it. And this one might be darker just to give myself some idea, right? And then maybe here I gotta add in those swirls because there's always these really neat swirls inside and lines like that. Looks kind of fun, doesn't it? Like, wouldn't you want to drink a hot cocoa that has marshmallows or like whipped cream that's making fun shapes? So when you're drawing, I want you to come up with, well, what does it say on yours? Maybe after you've got it, and this is just about not worrying about what you're drawing. It's more about, I want you to just practice painting with coffee grounds just to give you um, a different thing to paint with. So if you want to draw a dragon, draw a dragon. You want to add in one of those kawaii faces where you have, you know, I get so many requests on how do you do that, Mrs. Holland? You can add in those cute little faces like this. So then I got my little kawaii faces, right? I got the cute little thing here. I can make mine a girl. Okay, maybe she's got her tongue sticking out. I don't know. So just to give myself an idea, this is what her eyes would look like, right? Okay, so the next thing is I need to have this sitting somewhere, right? And maybe I add in some cool steam. So I don't want you to really spend a lot of time playing on it. Um, I might add my cup sitting on one of those like saucers, right? There we go. And I, me and my shadows and fun lines, I'm just gonna kind of add in my own little two cents, right? Okay. So you can see I always have things darker in certain areas. 
There's my cute little character. So now I'm gonna take a paintbrush and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna grab in some of my coffee and I'm gonna start painting with the coffee. Isn't that cool? So just like when you're painting with watercolors, you know, the more water you use, the lighter it's going to be. And as I go further, my paint, you know, of the coffee is gonna get lighter and lighter and lighter. You can let areas dry, um, and that helps a lot with adding in layers, just like you would with watercolor. You could also make a couple of these and make areas where it's just really concentrated and dark. Um, and then you can make another mug that has, you know, less coffee in it and more water. But you can see, I'm just going in and grabbing and I'm adding in some darker shadows using the coffee. So who knew, and it's gonna smell really good because it's gonna smell like coffee, unless you don't like coffee, and that's okay. So I'm sure you could probably do this with hot cocoa, um, like the powdered mix, um, but definitely no milk. That's the, the goal, is you want nothing with milk because milk will go bad, whereas this is just a fun um, way to paint. I have, um, I used to use this to make a map. So if you wanna make a map for I don't know, some toys or a favorite game that you like. Um, you can do that and you can age it by using the coffee or tea. You can also do this with tea. So if you have tea bags, it's something else that you can do. So just like whatever we're painting in class, you're gonna use it the same exact way. You can leave areas of white where you don't fill it all in. And then you wanna think about where your shadows are. So I'm gonna get darker where my shadows would be. And that's obviously very dark whenever you get close to the base. And I'm following, I know my third graders understand this, when we were painting our dogs and our cats, you wanna follow how you would pet the, the dog. With my coffee cup, I wanna follow how my hands are gonna go around it. So how do you hold your hot cocoa mug or whatnot? I hold it this way. So I might paint with my brush strokes going around it. And when I do that, I see a circle. But if I paint up and down on this view, I might paint up and down and in a circle here and up and down for the inside. But if I was looking at it the way I've painted it, a little bit tipped like this, so I have a mug in front of you to help you. Maybe I'm gonna paint this way and I paint this circle. So your hand is always going to be how you would feel. So whenever you're painting, I want you to think about that. How would you feel that direction? And it's just something good to know about yourself and just to be aware of when you're painting. So this is my drawing or painting, which is fun, right? So I can't wait to see what you guys create. Remember, you can always go back in and go in a little darker once it's dried and add in some of those fun little shapes. You can also do this in pen and ink at first with marker. But I hope you have a lot of fun. <laughs> you probably hear my daughter's music for going to bed. Now I could go on this for hours and hours and hours. Um, well, not hours, but I could keep going layers and layers and layers because an artist is never done. Just like you can always ask an author and they will always say, I'm sure there's something else I can edit. But mainly I just wanted you to play and experiment today with, um, hot co I mean, <laughs> with painting with coffee and also experiment with some artists really enjoy using their sense of smell whenever they're um, creating art. It gives it a really neat effect. 
All right, so I will leave it at that, but I hope you had fun and experimented with something different today. And just know I miss all of you very much.